What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everyone across the multiverse and the quantum realm? My name is Anthony Sims, and I'm with Camilo. Um, uh, how, how do people get in contact with you? What, what's, what's your Instagram? What's your handles? Well, you can find me as like uh, Milo Tattoos. Yeah. Or you can find me by my complete like, Instagram name is called Agni Hijo del Sol. Uh, yeah, but you can, I think with Milo Tattoos, you came out really quick. And yeah, 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 <laughs> super easy. Um, Milo, uh, what got you into uh, tattooing? Man, for real, I've been an artist all my life, you know, and you kind of run away from who you really are, man. You know, at some point, yeah. you got to pursue it completely, 100%, and, and I just want to make art all days, man, you know, like yeah. for the rest of my life, man. Yes. You know, it's a really fun career, a lot of work, but definitely being an artist all my life, and, and, and yeah, just wake up each week, man, and, and do art, man. And in that way, I put myself in a perpetual dynamic of progression and evolution, you know? Yes, sir. Art is always forward, man, you know, always in progress, evolving, so it's a fun thing to do with your life, you know? Yeah, I, I agree 100%. Um, do you have a favorite tattoo maybe on you or maybe one that you've done on somebody? So far, man, I believe me, man, I celebrate, man. I've been tattooing one year, man. And each tattoo for me is a celebration because yeah. I'm telling you, man, I've been pursuing this in this country. My journey in this country has been an artistic journey, man, you know? I stay here like uh, to pursue something with my art, you know? Mm -hmm. So for me, each tattoo is a celebration, man. But the, the, the one recently I did the most, that like the most, is, is it was my one tattoo, my one year tattoo celebration. It's a big back piece, mm -hmm. it was super complex, like a bunch of detail. It came out so nice. It took me nine hours, man. Damn. So it was like a test, you know, yes. to start the second year with like uh, with everything, you know, with, with 100%, man. Yeah, yeah I love yeah, it. Yeah. Um, do you want to talk about uh, any negative tattoo rumors or stereotypes uh, that you may hear? I mean, like, uh, I'm nobody, man, to to call those shots. I only be one year in this, what Humble. is called the industry, you I know? I love it. But like, uh, more than the tattoo industry, I like uh, to be in the tattoo community, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, there is healthy competition. Yeah. There is some healthy competition, too. Like each one, teach one, yeah. Absolutely, bro. But, like, yeah, just to, like, uh, start this thing about, like, uh, the tattoo community, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This is what you see here in the shop, man. Community, oh, yeah, this, family, I love man. this. It's a very, yeah, like, yeah, bro, like, yeah, yeah. a family. You, you don't see any drama. You don't see, like, nah, uh, unhealthy that. competition. Here is, like, a yeah. brotherhood, man. Like, uh, we're family here. Everyone wants so to bring everybody it's a community. up. community, yeah, absolutely, yes, man. I agree. Do you have any goals for 2024? Bro, I just want to keep tattooing, man. Mm -hmm. Non-stop, bro. Like, if I can keep, like, at a pace, on a weekly basis, man, tattooing daily, bro, that's that's my goal, man. You yeah. know, like, just keep improving with each one, you know? Just getting better and better. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's what it is. Um, do you have a favorite artist in, like, any genre, whether it's tattooing yeah, or yeah. musical tattoo, art? Yeah, yeah, in tattoo, I got Steve Moore. He's my biggest reference. Mm -hmm. He's from Canada. He's an illustrative artist, man, and he does just majestic work, and that's what I'm aiming in life, you know? Like, yeah. it's beautiful work. I suggest people go check their work. And art in general, I have a nice artist that is called Jan Del Bill. I don't know if I pronounce it this good. He's from uh, uh, Belgium. Mm -hmm. He's a symbolist, and I just, I just love, like, all the depth behind his work. Nice. It's like, yeah. I'll look him up. I'll definitely look him up. Yep. Uh, and you kind of, this is my last question. You kind of touched on this earlier in the beginning, but what do you think the best thing about being an artist is? Bro, being an artist is to be subjected to the create creative spirit, man. You know, like to be creative, man. <sighs> to be all the time creative, bro, because it's what keeps you so healthy, man. I got my, I got my grandma, she's 90. She's been all her life like creating, man. Mm -hmm. And like uh, she's battling the the worst battles in life, man. Like uh, she lost a, a daughter. She's such a tough lady, man. And, yeah. and it's because she's always been working with her hands and her heart, man. Yep. So like uh, the best thing to be an artist is meant to be in perpetual state of creation, man. And that keep that keeps you healthy, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And and as I told you, man, like uh, art is some is. Art has a dynamic that is forward, man. You don't have setbacks in art, man, you know? Yep. Each week you're better, man, you know? Each day you're better. If you put honest practice, man, each week, each day you're better. So I just wanna see myself in that perpetual forward dynamic of evolution, you know what I'm saying? That's what life is. Life is progression, man, you know? So like, uh, I think that's the best thing of being an artist, man, you know? 100%, dude, I, I agree. That was that was beautiful. That was probably like the best answer I've ever heard. So I definitely appreciate you taking your time out to answer these questions. So I'll let you get back to what you're doing, brother. You take care of a, hey, a great, so beautiful day. That was, damn, I'm inspired. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank yeah. you.